I can't believe this. It's Ramble Gaming. It's Doki Doki. Doki Doki Panic. The Ramble Gaming Literature Club. It's Doki. Oh, anyway. Welcome Yuri back. is going to be coming Welcome to my to house on Sunday after church. <laughs> Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when you were outside of school. <gasps> she even told me she was looking forward to it. <coughs> I shake my head. My head Why do I feel fast. nervous that Siori finds out about this? It's not like we're having that way about feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is, this is club. for the club. <laughs> the first rule of the Fight Club is don't talk about the Fight Club. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. A good time. <coughs> it's already Sunday. Wow. The time like, skip. Yeah. I've been getting increasingly anxious just about Yuri coming Sunday. to visit me. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. <laughs> She's evil. There's no <laughs> doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. The two of us. Just the two, just of, the us. two of us. Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. Ooh. Like, what's up, babe? Ooh, she was extremely apprehensive at first. But it wasn't long she before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Satori since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Satori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Siori's feelings aside when she might need me? She needs me. I decide to visit Siori before Yuri comes along. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over. Much like we've <laughs> done in the past. I'm coming, dude. Once I reach Siori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Shit. No. <laughs> Auto. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. That's weird. <clears throat> the house is quiet. Sioli isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I see her playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Sioli! Hi, Bafflin! <gasps> I sit down in her room. Mr. Cow! Seal! <laughs> <laughs> you were a cow the whole time. This first is a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. She's cheating on him with the cow, dude. Mm -hmm. Dude, there's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? You have to wait until more minutes. Why? I'm gonna have silence. No, just. Okay. <laughs> she, ooh, look at these shorts. Look at her dude, and her Sally. casual oh. wear. Casual oh, she wear. Is, she is like 16. Ah, I guess you're right. <laughs> it's okay. Get this to the show. It's, it's a game. It has been a long time. No, she's like 17 or 18. Mom. Not much has really happened, has it? Siori's room is as messy as it's always been. Dad Salvato clarified. I it's it. okay, because they're 18. <laughs> I also recognize the same good. stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. Really? It's not actually a mess at all. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? How do you know? Yeah, but... <clears throat> Wait, how do you know that? Siori had already left by the time we <coughs> decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? These are some white windows, by the way. Ah, uh, that's white. true. It's a white world. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction at the cow. Oh, snap. Everything about our behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you're doing. After you left on Friday, but something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Siori smiles, shaking her head. 
That's no good, Bafflin. Eh. Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally <laughs> express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori! I grab Sully by the shoulder. What the earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh, ah ha ha. See how that gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, bat. You really put me in a trap, Bafflin. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what, you sure. moody girl? What are you talking about, Siori? Heh <laughs> heh. You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Bafflin? I guess I have no choice oh, no. this time. Oh, the God. thing is, I I've had... I crippling depression. <laughs> <laughs> I've had really bad depression my whole life. Really? Did you know that? No. Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because you like breakfast. <laughs> because most <laughs> days, I can't even find a reason to Jeez. get out of bed. I'm so relatable to her. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Dang. Why go to school? The Why fuck? eat? Jesus Why make Christ. friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? I thought you'd be more like this. That's what it feels like. <clears throat> and that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Dang it. Without anyone worrying about me. Dot dot dot. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this for me the entire time that I've known her, man? That she really wants so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Hi, Siori? Mm. Eh? Why is it that you never told me about this? You bitch. Yeah. It almost uh, feels like I've is... been betrayed uh, as your that's, close friend. That's what you should say, right? Bitch. In this situation, oh, you betrayed because me. Because if I, I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. <sighs> sure. Even if there's only so much that I could do. You were just Mr. I would Cow have... was here the whole time. Yeah, I would have tried a little hard to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend, no one else. Oh my God. All you have to do is tell me. You don't understand at all, Bethlehem. No, he doesn't. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Haha. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends with and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like there's a spear going Damn. through my heart. Ripper. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Haha. -ha. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Siori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. <coughs> no, Bafflin. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person she I am. Routine, then. Tears streaked down Siori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. Oh no. That's all I am. <laughs> and that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Accept the revolution. Without thinking, I once again grab Sully's shoulders. <clears throat> Sorry. <Ow. laughs> this time I pull her into a hot, tight em embrace. What? Oh no. Uh-uh. Bethlehem. Oh god. What is going on, <laughs> Sioni? I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I won't have any other way. Bethlehem. 
Sylvia isn't hugging him back. Ah, oh, what a bitch. <laughs> Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sylvia sometimes <clears throat> remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. A boo -hoo. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Please don't do this. Bafflin. I... Sioli barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Probably not. All I want is for her to show, know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what it needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's the anything, the yeah, if there's anything you need to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad uh. if you do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Jelly, see what he finally know. pushes her arms around know. me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Bafflin. The only time I'm not feeling nothing. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Dang, I'm a scary person, then. Siori let me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um... Uh... It's that I want. It's what I want. It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Siodi wipes her anime eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Well, maybe I, maybe should, I should leave this cancel. girl who's suffering and just hang out with a hang out no, with that don't. Kind of bird. Please don't. Okay. If you do that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me in my house. At the very least, do you want me? Do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Siori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very, if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry about it too much. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. Yay! Yay! I say I goodbye to ending. Sayori and exit her house. house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. <clears throat> I have to provide the chocolates for her. And I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. And we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. That's the spirit. All right. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Doki Doki panic. Yuri! <gasps> Dang, look at that turtleneck. Oh, look at the, oh, oh, look look at that turtleneck. Oh, oh look at her pants. Some yoga pants too. Ooh. Ooh, oh. Okay. Oh, oh. Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. <clears throat> should be common sense to do that. Why decide to ignore it? Anyway, let's go inside. We will next time on Ramble Gaming. Bye, guys. Oh, you're gonna bye, bye. Cliffhanger. Right. Cliffhanger.